are you bored of doing the same regular presentation again and again if the answer is yes then this is a perfect slide for you in this tutorial i'm going to show you the best powerpoint template you can use in your regular presentations and this is ideal for school and university projects for medical staff and for working professionals as you can see here i have created four different uh, slides with bright and professional colors i have given the text as slide one two three and four and you can change it according to your own requirement and below i have given the numbers of the slide also and this is how the slide works when i click it will slide left and the image or the graphic will appear there and when i click it will again slide to the left the slide two details will appear then it will slide to the left slide three and then the slide four will appear so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and zoom out a little bit you can keep 60 percent then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide and shape outline make it no outline and right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level for the time being later on i'm going to make it zero percent then i'm going to insert one more rectangle at the left side of the rectangle which we have just added so add a new rectangle and shape fill you can give some good colors whatever the color which you like and again shape outline make sure that there is no outline to it then go to insert text box and give the subject for example i'll just say slide one and i'm going to make it the font as wide and choose your font as per your requirement or whichever font of your choice and bring it here you can make it bold increase the size further and then you can just go to the text direction and just say rotate all text to 70 degrees and drag it down you can see here our slide one text is created press ctrl d to duplicate it and here i'm just going to make it normal and i'm just typing the number here that is one and i'm going to make it center align and bring it down keep it here now i'm going to select all the objects press ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to give this uh, group name as one to give the group name you have to go to the home tab and select go to selection pane you can see here this group i'm just going to make it as one all right so this is group one now and then i'll just move this one this side so i know that i have to create four or five depending on my requirement so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this is my second slide and i'm going to select this particular small rectangle and go to format shape outline and give some nice color to it you can see here and change the text to two and this also i'm just going to make it two here and then just put it next to the first one and press ctrl d this will be my third i'm just going to select this and i'm going to give some different color to it and this will be my three so increase the size so it comes in one line then i'm just going to make it three and then i'm just going to place this next to the two and then ctrl d duplicate it select this one and give a different color and this will be four and this is also the number four and i'm just going to place it here so you can see here i've added all uh, one two three and four and i have to just go to home selection selection pane it's all one so i have to just change the numbers so that i can identify easily when i'm doing the animation this is one this is two this is three 
and this is 4. And then if you want to do some uh, shadow effect also you can do select all these three or you can select four also no problem. And then I'm just going to give a shadow effect here a little bit shadow effect. I think that is too much so we can just reduce it also which is this one offset left yes and then I'm just going to hide two three and four and this one I'm going to select and make it zero and I'm just going to select the color as white so it will be a font white and here I have just whatever my old uh, presentations I have just made as an image and I'm just going to copy this control C and bring it here move this side and control V and I'm going to paste it on top of my slide one which is this design all right and then I'm just going to select all this and this press ctrl g to group it now you can see here now i have made this group i'm going to give this group as name as page one for example this will be my page one now all right now i'm just going to enable the page two which is page two here and this page one should go at the bottom so the page two is visible so page Two, I'm just going to select the same thing I'll come here and I'm going to make the transparency to zero change the color to white and then I'm coming here this image I'm just going to copy and put it on the slide number two which is this side let me just bring it here and paste it and then I'm going to select this slide number two and this image press control G to group it and this will be my page two so you can see here I've got page one and page two so page one should be on top page two will be at the bottom then same thing I'm just going to do the third and fourth I have to follow the same thing again I'm just going there select this make it zero transparency white color then I'm going to select the third image or text whatever you can copy it here and paste it and move it on top of the slide 3 then I'm just going to select this slide 3 and the image Control G to group it and I'm going to give the same page three okay and I'm just going to put it here and then do the page four the similar way so you can see here I have added the image of the slide four also and you have to put the arrangement like this page one two three and four the page one should be at the bottom then two three and four all right now we have designed all the things let me just close this format background and the selection part and I'm going to enable the animation go to animation enable the animation pane select the first slide and go to add animation go to more entrance motion paths and then you can just select the left one and click OK so you can see here there's one red dot just drag the red dot toward the end of the slide something like this here so it should reach the end of the slide and you can just double click and you can give some smooth and I don't need maybe smooth start a little bit and this duration is fast click OK and if I play when I click it will come like this can you see here then it's easy for me to copy the animations I'm just going to select this animation painter click the second one I don't need to do anything then select two click on three and then select this three and click on four or you can just double click also you can do at once so if I play now slide one 
click slide 2 click slide 3 and click slide 4 you can add one more slide where it will say thank you also so you can see here this is the simplest way you can add it and you can add any text here your main title your project title i can just say project title increase the size and make sure that this is sent to back otherwise it will appear on the top of the slides so if i play again project title you can see here one two three and four so simple to do this particular slide That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.